Hello, my name is Brian Starr. And my name is also Brian Starr. And we are here to tell you about the classical period of music. The classical period existed from about 1750 to 1830. And in those years, many great composers and genres of the classical music were born. The concerto is the first genre of the classical period that I am going to talk about today. At first, this genre was known as the concerto grosso in the Baroque period. It was played by a large group of instrumentalists. Now the concerto is only known as the solo concerto, which was born in the classical period. Many great composers of the classical period created concertos, but two of the best were Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Franz Joseph Haydn. Mozart created the violin concerto, while Haydn created the concerto for the trumpet, each showing how powerful a solo piece could be. Oh. The genre I will be talking about is the classical opera, where the voice is the instrument used. Even though the operas were started around 1600, the new classical operas had the music lead the action of the play. This was started with the help of Christoph Willibald Gluck. But of course Mozart had to create some of the best operas. Mozart created both kinds of operas. The opera seria, which was a little bit more serious and closely resembled the original operas. And the opera buffa, which was usually comic. Chamber music is another genre in the classical period. Unlike large orchestras, chamber music is played by a player with his own single instrument. There aren't three violins, two cellos, a harp, and a viola. Just a single performer with his own instrument. Another genre I will be talking about today is the sonata. Classical sonatas can be split up into two separate categories. The first is the solo sonata, which is created for a single instrument. The other is the ensemble sonata, which is usually created for the piano and one other instrument, like the violin. The next genre in the classical period is the piano sonata. As Brian said earlier, the sonata was created for a single instrument, or a single instrument with the piano. <laughs> And who better to make the piano sonatas famous than a new name for today? Ludwig von Beethoven. Beethoven created 32 sonatas, all using piano, like the popular Moonlight Sonata. At last, we come to the symphony. A symphony is a work composed for a large orchestra and is usually divided into four parts. The symphony during its four movements start from loud and hard to a soft and melodic noise. Back to finishing loud again! But often filled with hints of the third movement. This hinting towards other movements was not big until Beethoven. Then again, symphonies were never the same after Beethoven got his hands on them. There were many instruments used in the classical periods, like the piano, the violin, the cello, the viola. Also woodwind instruments like flutes, oboes, clarinets, and bassoons. Altogether, they created some of the best music the world has ever heard.